Okay, so back when I was at school, I was famously bad at maths and I absolutely hated maths. The teachers would take me out of my other school lessons to give me extra maths lessons because I was that bad. They all said I was going to fail my maths GCSE and I probably was going to, but I didn't. I ended up getting an A in my maths GCSE, an A star at maths A level, and I went on to do a maths degree at the University of Nottingham after absolutely hating and being terrible at maths. And I'm going to tell you how I did it. So I started off by coming to one really important conclusion that I haven't seen anyone else even mention yet, which is if you're currently struggling with maths at school or something like that, then it's probably because there's an earlier topic that's been covered that you didn't understand. And this was really the case for me. And I didn't realise that at the time, but this is what I had subconsciously sort of realised. And I went back through all my maths work all the way back to year seven. And I went through every single topic until I knew that I could ace it. I did all the questions, practised it, did online questions. I use a website called my maths at the time where if you get 70% on a topic you get a green smiley face so I wanted green smiley faces on every single my maths topic and that's what I did it took me a long time it was very difficult because I was teaching myself there was no tutors or money or anything like that I did this all myself and yeah that's the thing with maths it builds and builds you've got to make sure you know those earlier topics I then went back to school in year 11 and everyone was really shocked that I could suddenly do maths I was in like the bottom set the bottom of the bottom set and suddenly everyone was asking me for help and stuff and I ended up getting an A in my maths GCSE and I got A's in all my science GCSEs as well which I had also been predicted to fail and again this was because the maths in them suddenly became a lot easier for me. I then took maths for A-level because I'd really started to enjoy it by that point. But guess what? I started to struggle again. A-level is a big step up from GCSE and I ended up getting a D uh, in my year 12 mocks at the end of the year. But over the summer, I did what I just said. I covered all the topics again, went through them all, things like that. And there's also something called the practice effect, which is a well-known sort of um, effect that happens that shows that people who do lots and lots of past papers who practice exams a lot do better when it comes to the actual exam. This is a very well known scientific sort of studies have gone into it, that sort of stuff, the practice of it. So I did lots of that as well. I came back in year 13 and somehow it was so much easier. Year 13 was way easier than year 12, which sounds really funny, but it was. And I aced it. I got A star on my maths A level. I even got 73 out of 75 in my, one of my maths papers as well. I went on to do a maths degree at the University of Nottingham. Loved it. Graduated. I specialised in uh, like applied maths, mathematical physics, stuff like that. I went on to do a master's at the University of Cambridge where I studied the philosophy of maths and wrote about it because I'd always been an English girly before that. I'd always been way better at English and writing. So I got to combine the two like that. And yeah, if you've got any questions about what I did, uh, please pop them in the comments and I will answer them because I know this is a very short summary of what I did. And I'm more than happy to help other people um, who are struggling with maths. Thanks.